Hello, welcome to another up close video. Today's one is for designer's choice number 20 and it is called Corsage and Corners. Um, and it is a beautiful die set with loads of gorgeous circular designs within it. Um, I did actually mostly just focus on the small circles and these two kind of filigree corners and the little branch. So I'm sure other people um, on the uh, tonic design team who got sent this set will have uh, gone into more detail about like the larger dies that are in there but obviously I'll show you them all but I just don't have any samples with kind of um, the larger three kind of circle sizes and then the two corners as well but obviously any of the th things that I show you with the smaller designs if you like making larger cards you can then just use the larger circles to recreate that card in a larger format as well but you know me I love my small cards so I do tend to go for the small kind of dies um, also you might kind of think that this sort of concept with these dies looks a little bit familiar and there was um, a set of dies I think they were called uh, the bracelets die sets and there was three of them and they had these kind of circular designs that would mix and match in the centre of them so if you never got hold of them or uh, maybe you didn't buy them because they were a really large die set all of them had like an 8 inch kind of circle in there maybe um, you don't like your large cards and you prefer to make smaller projects or you don't have an A4 die cutting machine this die set I think is a great alternative or uh, substitution if you didn't get those die sets but you wanted something kind of similar because you've got all of the smaller sort of versions and if you have any circle dies within your stash or from other uh, kits or stamp clubs or um, designers choices or showcases um, circles obviously they are the same proportion like this way to this way they're the same so not like sometimes you get rectangles or ovals and you think oh they'll coordinate with something else that I have but they don't because um, ovals and rectangles can be so many different proportions but with circles any other circle die that you have will go really nicely with these circles so I think um, a circular design or also square designs are you know the same kind of thing they really fit into your stash really nicely because you can use so many other different pieces with them and I've actually used on one of my cards this die set as well which if you bought the bundle I don't think you could buy this die set separately I think you had to buy the bundle um, that had the magnetic crafters stand is that what it's called no dice uh, crafters magnetic die stand maybe I'll put the proper name up here but I'll, I'll link that below the video as well just in case you're interested but this uh, die set came with that in a bundle um, and I really enjoyed the die stand that I got sent that I showed you in one of my stamp club videos I think it was the whale one um, and I, I'd, I'd been really enjoying that and then I really wanted this die set so I did treat myself to the bundle so that I could get the die set and have a, a second die stand I actually bought two more so um, but I think they're really useful those die stands as well but anyway um, this the reason why I mentioned it was because this um, die obviously has a circle design within it that says I'm so sorry and then you've got I'm so sorry and kind of a little bit of an arched banner and then you've got it's late and I forgot for different kind of cards but this one goes really nicely you could add this scalloped circle around that um, straight edge circle within the centre there and you could also mix and match that um, design with the I'm so sorry as well so if you have circular sentiments is basically what I'm trying to say they'll go really nicely whether you kind of like offset them like you could have it have all of the circles stacked up on a card and then offset the sentiment but because it's still in a circle it goes really nicely or any of the cards that I've created you could kind of combine a circular sentiment in with that instead of having um, a floral panel or um, the, a sort of more leafy kind of panel this having a sentiment kind of uh, I suppose makes it a little bit more of a masculine card as well because you're taking out the floral um, kind of elements so I just wanted to mention that that if you got hold of that you might already have that in your stash or any other circular sentiments that you might already have I can't think of any of the oh no actually yes there was the 
do you remember the staggered stage die sets? There was the staggered stage Christmas version and then the summer fun version, I think it was called. Um, and they both launched with a set of sentiment dies and I'm pretty certain there was a circle one in both of those sets that launched. So I'll make sure to link those uh, below the video as well. And if you go over to my blog, there will actually be picture links of all of the products that I linked to as well. So if you're thinking, oh, she mentioned something about an extra die set that had circle sentiments in, but if, when you look in the list below, you might not be able to, you know, figure out which one I was talking about. If you go to my blog, you'll be able to see actual little pictures of um, the die sets and stuff that I'm talking about. So you should be able to spot them straight away, um, just in case you don't already know that. So... Um, Actually, I'm going to try and find those die sets that I was just talking about so I can show you. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here just to show you some other die sets that you might have already got that will go really nicely with this designer's choice. So these were the ones I was talking about. The sentiment die sets, there was actually two with each of the staggered stages. I think that's what they came out with. I can't 100% remember, but there's this one, or these two that are Christmassy, so the one that says December 25th and also Joy would go really nicely in the centre of this design, or again, like, offset to the side. Um, I know these aren't Christmassy designs, but there's nothing to stop you from not using the intricate details that are in there and just using one of your specialty tonic papers to make that look more interesting, and then you can use, like, the outside shapes and the circles within there and the ones that cut the detail in, and then bring in a Christmas sentiment to make them look more Christmassy and then along those lines as well as I was looking um, on my bookcase for the ones that I was thinking about I also found these two Christmassy ones from last year which would also uh, work really nicely you've got um, peace on earth merry Christmas and then a deer in this one this one's called the leaping deer die set and these two were called uh, winter tag sentiment dies and festive sentiment dies and then there's also this one that had like a circular design with the snowflake inside it that would give like a gorgeous intricate snowflake design and this one's called decorative snowflake obviously all of these die sets that I'm showing you work really nicely by themselves but if you already have these and you want to make them look a little bit different maybe you don't want to invest in any more Christmas dies for this year um but you got something like this last year with circular sentiments. You could then use these in conjunction with something like this to sort of make them go a little bit further. Um, but then going back to non-Christmas kind of cards, these um, two die sets came out with the Summer Fun Staggered Stage. And the, this one's called Celebrate Summer Sentiments and Hooray Summer Sentiments. And you've got Happy Birthday to You in a circle and Hip Hip Hooray as well. So all of those kind of circular sentiments would go really nicely. And then these were the initial dies I was talking about. Although, in my head, I was remembering these ones, which are the layering floral frames, but I told you the name was the beautiful bracelets. It was the beautiful bracelets that had a, cir um, that had a sentiment in the circle. So you had best wishes, um, just for you, and it's your day. And they're all called those same sentiments with beautiful bracelet again in the name, but I will try to link everything um, if I can, if, the, if it's available still, just in case um, you're interested in like an extra sentiment, because this one doesn't actually have sentiments within it, that's why I'm trying to give you a few options of sentiments that would go really nicely if you didn't already have something or if you do already have it in your stash as well. So hopefully this would kind of be useful to you. I would like to see this kind of thing, so you know, I hope it will be useful to you, but I, I was thinking of these, but I was... I was thinking the name was these ones, but it's not. Uh, but they, So these ones have sentiments in the centre of them. And the great thing about these sentiments is a lot of them, um, some letters might be a little bit fiddly, like the B, the O and the D, but you can actually use the fall away letters from these to stick on for your sentiments as well, which is always lovely. And then the other set that I was initially thinking of was this set of three. Um, I think there was three there. Possibly could have been four, but I could only find three on my shelf. Um, but they were called the Layering Floral Frames. And you had the Tulip Trellis, which has a gorgeous tulip design. There's also the Bloom and Flourish um, design. And then also the Beehive design as well. And I have a feeling there has been... Yeah, there definitely has. A couple of... Um, or at least one magazine freebie from a few issues back. Quite a few issues back. Probably like... 
a year or two ago maybe um that had a daffodil it was a circular design and it had a daffodil in the center and then there was like the extra die that went with it and it had a butterfly in the center those kind of die sets would work really nicely as well but if i go through my whole stash picking out every single circle die set uh, we'll be here forever so i just thought i'd give you um a few suggestions of other dies you might already have or you might want to get that would go really nicely with this one so hopefully that was kind of interesting and wasn't too much of a, a detour for you um so let's have a look at this month's die set so again it's called the corsage and corners so you've got lots of corner options which is really nice um and i i do kind of think corner dies kind of make me feel like um you know sort of really sort of regal intricate kind of cards but there is ways of turning corner dies into like really modern sort of cards as well which I've tried to show you on a few of my um designs that I've done as well so hopefully that'll give you a few more ideas and then with like these corner dies there's loads of different ways where you can sort of do you know the four of them back to back or you could put the four of them around and it would fit the circle in the center like using them as actual corners but there's loads of different ways of sort of mixing and matching them you could put four together back to back along the straight sides and then do another one and offset it to give you kind of like an eight pointed star kind of look then you could use the circle to sort of cover the center of it it as well so you'd have all of the points sticking out from the um, outside of the circle um, and then you could use them plain or with the pattern inside and you know there, there are loads of different options of how to use all of these gorgeous dies but let's have a look at all of the small circles first so Within the larger sort of circle layering die set, you have this patterned one, which is kind of like half flowers, but again, you could turn that more into a Christmassy design and maybe stick a snowflake sequin on each of them to give it more of a Christmassy look. Um, then you've got a plain sized circle, then you've got two options for decorative detail, another plain sized circle, um, a die that cuts into the card, or you can use the circles to cut it out, but then you have two more of those down here, and then you have another plain edged circle with an intricate design, and then the two that you have down here are plain edged but with different designs in, so you've got stitching on that one and then a different design, and then dotted and then a different design, but they're all mix and match. So let me take all of these out I think so basically you're getting only one edge that cuts out these three designs but then you're getting the versatility within these so you can have this outside edge with just the plain cutting edge and then that decorative design or you could have this outside edge that plain cutting edge and then the decorative design or you've also got this one and I have actually made some little gift tags using all three of these to kind of show you them die cut out as well but all those three options or any um, iteration of those options any mix and match of them will then be cut out by this die so the main thing will have a straight edge just a straight edge but you then the next one down if you want to cut that out and raise it up or make it into a shaker or um, put vellum behind it and like colour on the back of it to give it a stained glass look, put acetate there and use um, like the crystal glaze and maybe even colour it with things or use your Nouveau drops through it, any kind of technique. Um, you can either have the plain edge circle for that portion or you can have this one that's got the dotted pattern or this one that has the stitched pattern and then the ones that go around the edges you've got this is like little tiny rectangles that go all the way around this one is almost like scallops but when you cut it out it would be a plain edged with those kind of little scallopy designs within there and then you also have this one which has got little diamonds or sorry little triangles that are opposite ways up to each other um, and any of these kind of uh, layers you could even sew through them as well if you wanted to for an extra look or to add some um, extra texture to it and, and actually just thinking about it now you could put um, like weave wool through it and then like turn it into a dream catcher you could like run the, the strands across using those holes and make some kind of um, dream catcher kind of thing as well that would that would be quite good if you used two of the circles together and then cut that intricate detail so you didn't put the middle one in you cut a little frame like that maybe cut uh, three of them stick them all together so that it's nice and thick and sturdy and then you could um, go through it with wool and like make that kind of dream catcher sort of look and then leave some um, ends dangling down at the bottom and tie beads or feathers and stuff on there as well even um, 
You might have some die cut feathers or die cut leaves that look a bit like feathers as well. They would go really nicely or even the actual leaf die cut that is in this die set as well. That could almost hang down to be like some kind of um, stylized feather sort of thing as well to turn it into a dream catcher. Kind of bummed I didn't think of that before I did my project but that would be a really cool way of using it as well. So those are all like the smaller um, circular designs and kind of how you can mix and match and layer them but I'll also show you in detail the designs that cut out in the centre. These two are completely um, covered kind of designs, they will completely cover that full circle but this one actually the centre pops out and so it kind of creates a frame and you could use stamps and stamp a sentiment behind there, you could even put like a small photograph behind there um, it's kind of got a couple of florals and some leafy designs so um, I don't know, say your grandchild um, had their face painted like a tiger or something you could have a picture of them behind it and then it would look like they're sort of in a jungle with all the leaves coming around them or something like that so I mean that could be just for a card or you could use it on a scrapbook layout as well so really gorgeous designs and you will see them cut out on um, all of the projects that I've done as well to show sort of the difference between them then let's have a look at the rest of the die set so I'll show you all these extra like filigree kind of elements I have to say this one is my favourite I really love that it's just like really random it's got like it's asymmetrical so it's got two swirls on one side one on the other some gorgeous leafy designs in there and a few more swirls I just really like that one and these little um swirls that are on there will actually hook around the circle there was a trend a while ago um i think uh, sue wilson used to do it a lot with her die cuts and you would have like a circle design and then you would kind of use the curly cues off of another element and hook them into um the uh, dies that you'd already cut and this one works really nicely with those two like outer swirls they are in the perfect kind of curved place to sort of hook around the circle element I kind of did it on one of my cards so I'll try and remember to point that out uh, when I show you that example but I think that one is just so lovely for doing that with and then you also have that leafy one that I showed you that could be some kind of feathery effect for a dream catcher card and then you've also got a flower with again the same kind of sort of swirly leafy um, designs as that separate little one and obviously don't think they just have to be corners I didn't use them as corners at all on my project I scattered this one across a background I used this one on a gift tag and I used these um, sort of scattered down a card as well or hooked around the circle and I think they're just really gorgeous elements and then um, proper corners so these are kind of um, a suggestive corner I suppose because they're not like 100% right angled triangles to fit in a corner but they're they're a design that would go really nicely in a corner but then the actual corner dies that are in this set um, they are both the same size I think I haven't cut them but I'm pretty sure they're both the same size one just has a stitch design mm, actually the stitched one might be slightly larger so if you cut them out you might be able to layer them on top of each other and have a tiny little gap with the stitched one but you have the stitched and then the plain edged one so you can pick whichever one you want or use a mixture of the two and then you have the two different designs to go in the centre of them um, and these kind of match the other florally designs that are within the rest of the die set so this one really looks like this flower here and then this one is kind of giving me a mixture of um, the little leafy branch there and also that swirly one that I really love. It's kind of a mix of those two together in that other corner. So everything's going to coordinate perfectly. And then finally, the last dies that are in this set are part of that large layering die set. And actually, I, I always forget to tell you measurements, but while I've got this here and I've taken them all off the acetate, let's actually measure this circle for you. So I'd say the widest point is about here. So it's about four and three quarter inches, maybe a bit over four and three quarter inches, which is about 12 centimetres diameter. And then the next circle down is about 
11 centimeters or four and a quarter inches so they're quite a decent sized circle but they're not enormous that they wouldn't fit through an A5 um, die cutting machine which is nice so you've got those two dies which will kind of cut out um, an outside frame you could cut both of them and get a little skinny frame with that detail around the edge or you could just cut um, one or the other or both out of solid card separately and then layer them on top of each other as well and then this outside circle which I said is the the die that will cut all three of these um, inside dies out is the one that you would then use in conjunction with these two decorative dies if you wanted it to be a frame but you don't have to use it as a frame you can not use that one in the center and just create your own um, intricately die cut uh, matte and layer or um, layer that you're gonna stamp onto and color and you don't have to just use this circle that's in there as well the plain edge circle you could cut these decorative details into the frilly edge circle as well to give a completely different look too and you have two different designs so the idea behind this is it gives you more versatility you might think why do they give it give it to you in two halves it's really annoying but it's actually um it's giving you more more dies really more patterns that you can use that are going to coordinate with the other elements within the die set so this one has got a floral design on there which I haven't actually cut it but it could you could turn this into Christmas maybe those flowers if you did it in blues and stuff I think you could turn them into more of a snowflake looking design as well um, and then this one has got more of like a leafy design and the idea is or how I would cut them would be that I would take this die and do it face down and then I would tape this die onto it um, and line it up so I've got an equal amount of space between the intricate die and the edge of the metal of this die and then oftentimes you can get away with die cutting that taking the die cut out of it, poking all the pieces out and poking all the bits out of the die cut as well and then you can lay this back on top but turning it so that your already die cut detail will be here and then you're placing this portion on the rest and you're slotting this outside die in with the circle die cut that's already been cut out and I often find that is a good way of getting both sides to be perfect or if you don't like the idea of doing that you can just cut the circle first and then put the design on one side and then put the design on the other side or you can cut um, do it this way cut that but then instead of having both dies together and turning it around you could then just line up this one on the other side um, to match up the design as well so there are multiple different ways of getting the two design portions to kind of match up with each other but again I keep saying that a lot, um, but don't forget these could just be cut into the card. So this kind of shape, it's a lovely archway, could be some kind of rainbow and it could be um, a stylized kind of rainbow and you could just cut that straight into your card and then maybe use watercolours or aquaflows or something and colour a piece of card to have the rainbow colours on and then put that behind it so the rainbow would show through all of the detail to give a kind of, um, you know, stylized rainbow sort of look. If you got the uh, last month's stamp club that had the cloud dies in it, that would look fabulous with this stylized rainbow and then those cloud dies on there as well um, maybe even the lightning bolts coming down as well so lots and lots of different ways of using all of these dies and the way that they um, cut this one in half it really does give you more versatility it means you can use it as a semicircle um, and even a semicircle on a smaller card as well so like this is my favorite size of card you could just have that as a semicircle coming in you could do two of them and do that like belt buckle style card where they kind of overlap in the center and it almost looks a bit like a belt buckle um or even yes they would fit really nicely that way on a card as well so they are uh just over four inches so that does fit really nicely in a sort of shape like that on a card too so there really are loads of different ways of using them and I'm, i hope you enjoy me um like rattling off all these ideas there's so many things that I just think of off the top of my head I, I do know uh, a lot of you do comment and say that you really appreciate them so hopefully it does just give you a few more ideas of how you might want to use them whether it is this die set or something that you do already have in your stash and you've maybe forgotten about or run out of ideas of how to use it hopefully something that I say or show you will kind of spark um, another way of you being able to use it as well so I'll just move all of these dies out of the way and then I'll come back and show you my samples that I've done as well. 
Okay, so here are my samples. The first two are just random ones that I was just playing with. You might recognise these backgrounds if you watched my uh, background building video um, using the salad spinner. These were ones that I had done with uh, Nouveau products. So this was Stone Drops in the blue, gold and purple colourway. And I've just added that little frame die that cuts the sort of frame out because I didn't want to cover too much of the background because I really love like the movement within um, the stone drops flying out um, so I didn't want to cover too much of the middle so I've just stacked up two of them on top of each other and then put them at the centre of where all of the sort of um, everything was radiating out from and then I've just used a few of those gorgeous little uh, leaves as well so you've got one coming off there in the white and then these two are kind of more visible because they're on top of the colour that's on there and then I just finished it off with a Dymo label because I thought that blue goes perfectly and it's like it's not too distracting you're kind of just focusing more on the rest of the card so that's that one, just a, a quick and simple way. But obviously, if you like making larger cards, you could do something similar using um, the larger circles and maybe having the smaller element in the centre as well. So, you know, you can mix it up a bit. Or even using the larger one as a frame and then... Um, getting a bigger word die that you might have especially if you were going to do a Christmas card those Christmas sentiments from a couple of years ago they were really nice large sentiments that would go really nicely across the centre um, of the larger frame and then I also did this one as well so this was using the sparkle sprays and then I came back in with stone drops on the top or I might have mixed it in together I think this is the purple stone drops and then a couple of the pinky purpley um, sparkle sprays and I just added uh, one of the die cuts on top of there this one's got like um, a stalk coming up here a large uh, side view of a flower I think this is possibly another flower up here and I might have hidden another flower down here and I stacked up two of them and then stuck vellum behind as well um, just to kind of mute the background on this one obviously I didn't want to cover the background too much but I felt like it needed to be muted a little bit because it was a little bit busy in that centre section and then again I used some more Dymo label and it also goes to show um, that the colours from the Nouveau Sparkle Sprays really do match the Nouveau Glitter Markers really nicely. I was using the Wild Mulberry Nouveau Glitter Marker and it went really lovely with the purples and stuff that I'd used in the background just to colour in a layer to stick the Dymo label onto as well to bring in some more glitter and stuff. And then I finally finished off with a scattering of little sequins. These are the ones that came out in the... I think they were the Rustic Rose colour trend actually. I think they were. Um, they were the Water Lily pink sequins. I think they came in Rustic Rose. I can't 100% remember but um, they have got the really like tiny ones in there. Teeny tiny um, and then going up to a more of a medium kind of size. They have three different sizes in there. But I really enjoy scattering those on. And when you have a really busy background, it's quite nice to have the tiny little ones so they sort of just catch the light every now and then as you move the card. So those were the two like extra ones that I did. And then I also uh, did a sped up video showing you these two cards. And then I also made three tags in that video as well to show all of the different designs because I wanted to really show them off to you. So these are the two cards that I made. And um, this one is using that It's Late. I, I've, I wanted to use the frame um, one from Designer's Choice. So I decided to, instead of using the I'm so sorry, or I'm, yeah, I'm so sorry, circle um, to go on here, I decided to just use It's Late. And then I used the I'm so sorry from a Dymo labeler, just so that it was... Um, the sentiment was more contained on the card. You could have done the I'm so sorry as the focal point and move that it's late down the bottom as well. But I just felt like um, I wanted to do it this way for this card because I really liked the white on white effect of this gorgeous design. That's the same design I just showed you um, on the purpley pinky card. Um, just white on white in the background. And then I used the Firestone Red iridescent uh, mirror card to cut out five of these gorgeous little um, leafy designs just to scatter them off on the card and it kind of gives that 
almost the same kind of movement coming off to different angles but without having the messy kind of Nouveau products to make it although I did bring in a tiny bit of Nouveau because I'd used the rose gold foiled craft card behind that um, layer I just I really like that coppery rose gold look with the red I think it went really nicely and then the perfect match to this kind of coppery colour is the um, blush rosette aqua shimmer so this was Again, it's probably released a couple of years ago now. Time's going so quickly. Um, but it came out with the Sunlit Sienna and the Opal Quartz um, Aqua Shimmers. And I think if you buy... I think there's a set of, like, three metallic colours. And I think you get this one, the Sunlit Sienna and the Inca Gold in that set. Uh, but this is a really lovely one to have. Especially when you like using the rose gold kind of colour. Um... Obviously, if you use the gold, it doesn't quite go. You could use the clear one as well. Um, but it's quite nice to have something that matches that gorgeous sort of foiling as well. So that one works perfectly. And I just splattered that in the background. And I even let it overlap some of the die cuts as well, um, just for a different kind of look too. So that's that one. And then this one as well, which I do, I really love the way this one turned out too. This is using the that little filigree kind of corner. And you can see here how I tucked it under and it hugs it really nicely it goes around that circle so if you wanted to you could probably fit five or six of them around that whole central section um, and actually like build out your own filigree edge to the edge of this circle design which would look really nice but I decided just to kind of scatter them I really wanted to try that hooking it around so I did that once this one I just laid over the top and you can see like the difference that it gives depending on what kind of look you're going for you can either tuck things behind or just add them on top and then I just scattered the rest of them I did five again and I just scattered the rest of them down the card just to it kind of gives the the look of an embossing folder but because they're die cuts you can have them overlapping on other elements as well which I think is always nice then I used some more of that rose gold foiled craft card and a few strips of different colored red and some of the firestone red cardstock as well um, just to make a like border for the card and then the central section you'll see on the video I cut this from white and then stuck it onto red this is the second florally design um, I, I cut it from red and white and stuck it onto red and then I used that same blush rosette um, aqua shimmer over the top and I coloured in the little floral elements and on this flower I did actually go onto the white as well but then as I was looking at it after I'd finished the video I was like I don't really like it on the white it just because it looks so different on the red to the white I didn't really like the look of it so all I did was just cut another one of those out of white and stuck it on the top and then you'd never know it kind of looks like it's intentional to be double stacked to make it a thicker kind of look so um, if you do ever do that you can just cut another die cut to go over the top and no one will ever know so I thought I'd just mention that too and then this sentiment down here says hello there this is one of the ones that they launched at the same time as the shaker creator pockets but you can buy them individually which is really good because I want to go back and buy the other five that I didn't get um, I really like this one I love the mix of um, a cursive kind of script, uh, like a curly one, with the sort of block capitals as well. Um, and there were a few others that I had my eye on. So I think they're four ninety nine each. But if you're a kit subscriber, you can get 10% off the price of that as well. But I, I really like those kind of sentiments. And it's nice to have individual sentiments. I know Tonic are very good at putting so many extra dies within, like 3D die sets and stuff. But... Um, sometimes you just forget, don't you? You like, oh, that sentiment's in there, and you, you think, oh yeah, I won't forget that that sentiment's in that like 3D box die set, but you do forget, and then you're like, I'm sure there's more sentiments somewhere, but you can't for the life of you remember which die set they were in. So it's quite nice to have them individually, because it kind of makes you put them in a different place when you're organising your dies, and then you know where they are. So, um, yeah, I think those extra separate little dies are really good, and again, this designer's choice doesn't actually come with any sentiments so it's a great way to kind of use those extra sentiments from your stash as well you're not just sort of you don't feel like you have to just make the sentiments that are in the die set you know you can actually pair them with anything um and actually this color scheme you know i was talking about christmas earlier this color scheme i think would go really nicely for christmas so um you know if you were thinking of starting on your Christmas cards early or like thinking about other die sets and turning them into Christmas cards even this framed one here 
I mean it's got tiny little daisies in but it's mostly just foliage if you had um, a lovely poinsettia dye that you turned into like a 3d poinsettia you could put that in the center and maybe have that circular frame on this one and have that gorgeous poinsettia in the center and then a small little Christmas sentiment down here or one of the sentiment strip sentiments that say uh, like winter wishes and stuff like that you could have that coming across the card down here as well or even make it look more modern and have it coming up the side of the card too so loads of different ways of using these I hope I'm not like bombarding you with too many ideas but I just keep thinking of extra things so then as well as those in the sped up video I decided why not make some little gift tags as well because circles are perfect for gift tags and I thought it will really show you off um, all of the actual different designs that are in there as well so I did them all double layered and I was just using this flower around the side there but you can see as well you could probably get to maybe even further out slightly and get like three of them going around the circle for another different kind of look and they also have the curly bits as well so you could even try placing them the opposite way round and hooking these curly bits into this intricate design as well if you wanted to so there really are loads of different possibilities so these are using a mix of all three of the designs so this one has got the little um, kind of scallopy design cut out of it and then this is the frame so that's the full detail of the frame and this little flower on this card or in this tag I decided to show you another different way of using it and I just snipped off I just took my long bladed pair of scissors and just snipped halfway through the circle or slightly over halfway um, and then in this extra section there was this small little flower so I just cut it out and added it to this one to make it look a little bit different as well but I just think knowing that you could just snip part of it off and it still looks good I think is a really cool way of using them as well and you could equally do that with this one too um, just to give a kind of different look and then on this one obviously I added the flower on top because I had that extra space left over but on this one I also added it onto the bottom layer and then the next intricate um, design is this gorgeous little triangular one. I really like that one. I, I think it kind of, it just reminds me of like mosaic-y sort of designs. And then you've also got the little rectangles as well, which looks really gorgeous too. That almost looks like um, those, you know those things that they had like round circle um, discs that went in the top of them and then they had like different pictures within them and you looked through like a pair of glasses things and you clicked it and they moved to the next picture I'm sure me and my sister had one that had Beauty and the Beast on it and it had the little things and you click the clicker and it moved to the next picture that that edge kind of reminds me of that kind of thing so if you know somebody who had one of those or it would be like a funny um reminder for something you could like turn that sort of a a die into something like that on a card as well so that might be an extra idea too but I just thought um, showing you a few little gift tags as well would be quite a cute idea and the fact that you can then make the um, gift tag match the card as well it doesn't have to like exactly match it but it can be the same sort of theme like this gift tag could go really well with this card because it's got the same flower on it or you could use this gift tag with this card because it's got the same um, frame design on there as well so I hope you enjoyed this up close look at designer's choice number 20, I cannot believe we're at number 20, um, and I hope it gave you lots of kind of ideas of how you might want to use this die set, um, or even just spark some ideas of how you might want to use another die set that you already have that's kind of similar to this concept as well, and then also I'm hoping uh, showing you those other dies earlier on was kind of a help to jog your memory of what you might already have or um, You know just help you think about other die sets that you already have that would work quite nicely with this one if you did want to get it um, and then also I will um, Put all of the links in the description box below the video and on my blog so you can see the picture links in case you want to uh, Go straight to a die set that I showed you like one of the extra ones um, and they are all affiliate links as well So if you do click on my links whether you buy whatever it was that it was linking to or whether you just keep searching on the website and you find something else you want to buy um, I will get a small commission of the amount that you spent in your order but you it will not cost you anything so all you have to do is click on my link and then just do your order as normal and then I'll get a small percentage of uh, whatever the amount was that you spent um, and I really really do appreciate it I know a lot of you um, do tell me when you've used my links and I, I really love to see that and know that you like watch my video and then it really made you want to go and click the link or some of you even tell me that you've um, 
started watching the video and before I've even said hello, you've gone and clicked off and bought it. So I really, really do appreciate that. Um, anybody who has used my links for this die set, for any other die set, um, you know, in the past or in the future, I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.